Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Career Mode, but just before I get into this episode guys, I just want to say that in the description down below, you will find a link to a straw poll. Now basically what I'm doing, I'm wanting to start a new Career Mode on this channel to run alongside the Preston one, just to keep the content fresh, so I will be continuing with this Preston Career Mode, but at the same time, I'll be doing another Career Mode with perhaps a slightly bigger club. So in the description, you will find a straw poll link to, I think there's about six teams you can vote for, and at the moment I believe that Leicester are winning so that's the team that are currently winning but go down there and vote I think at the moment we've had about 20 people that have voted so I'm always looking to get as many people as possible to cast their vote so I get the vast majority of people so I know what the majority of people want to see and uh, also hopefully you will see that my audio quality has improved for my videos from now on as I've just got a new microphone so hopefully you will be seeing that my video quality and especially the audio will have improved now but going into the first game of today's episode guys we are playing against Nottingham Forest so for this game I decided to go for a 4-3-2-1 formation as you can see there the table Preston currently in 12th and Forest in 9th but I decided to go for a 4-3-2-1 formation with Doyle, Garner and Beckford up front as someone in the comments down below last episode suggested that I should use Owen Doyle more so that's just what I decided to do for today's episode so we do start off on the upper hand here with some fast counter attacking play and uh, we managed to force Forrest into a bit of pressure really but as you can see here Bradley Dak with a good chance but he just can't force the keeper into a save their, their player manages to make a good block to put it over the bar but this right here has been our Achilles heel so far this season set pieces we just can't get them right and we just can't seem to get we I don't think we've scored from a corner yet and then Jermaine Beckford hitting the post there very unlucky not for him to get, not get a goal and I believe he's currently only on one for the season trying to get his second here but Forrest then come forward and we were on the upper hand for most of this match until this point they managed to put a good cross in there and then at the back post with a volley they managed to beat Pickford in net and this has been our other Achilles heel really conceding sloppy goals and goals that we shouldn't really be conceding and Pickford's been such a hit and miss player for us so far this season I don't really know what more I can say about him because he seems to do all the basic stuff he normally seems to get wrong but then an absolutely fa astonishing save you know something that's, that's going into the top corner he manages to get a hand to but Pickford here probably should have done better he's beaten again near at his near post and it's just a bit disappointing to see but when I talk about Pickford doing all the extravagant stuff well this is exactly what I mean here Forrest have a good play here managed to pull it out onto the edge of the box and Pickford's got no right to save that but he manages to tip it wide this was definitely Destined to go into the top corner, but Pickford came up with an absolutely massive save there. It's a great save from Pickford in the end, and that managed two keepers in the game. I think if we did go 2 0 down, then I'd I couldn't really see a way for us getting back into this, especially away from home this season. We've not been too good in this career mode away from home. But going into the second half now, guys, we do manage to start on the upper hand in the second half with some good patient play. That's what this half was all about. I was very patient in my play and what I decided to do for this second half, I actually brought on Jordan Hugel for I believe Jermaine Beckford maybe, but I just did decide to bring Jordan Hugel on and he had an absolutely massive impact for us. As you, as you can see, we're having some shots here. Ricocheted out. Hugel gets the ball plays it into Bradley Dack, who manages to find the top corner. An absolutely fantastic finish from Bradley Dack. Jordan Hugel with just the impact we wanted. He got an assist for that, but Bradley Dack will take all the plaudits for this. An absolutely astonishing finish. Pick, uh, Hugel here manages to hold his player off well, but then Bradley Dack manages to find the top corner with his third goal of the season. He has been an absolute bargain of a buy for us and he could well end up being our player of the season for the end of this year, guys. He has been absolutely astonishing so far and that's another goal to, for him to add to his collection and as you can see there, that is his third goal of the season. So a very promising start from him and considering how he's a centre mid, I believe he's already our top scorer for this season. But we were currently at 1-1 and after we'd scored that goal, I thought I, felt, I was feeling confident enough to go on and actually win the match so Forrest here did come forward but then we managed to pick the ball up here and we start a counter attack that's just what we see here and we managed to go here Chris Humphrey on the ball I decided to bring Chris Humphrey on as well in the second half bags of pace manages to see Hugel in the middle who he squares to it was a little bit sweaty but that doesn't matter at this point in time and Jordan Hugel had managed to win the match for us it was all about Chris Humphrey here him getting through on goal and I think Humphrey this season I've been starting him in a lot of games but I'm starting to think that perhaps Humphrey will be a much better 
impact player because when their defense, when the opposition defense starts to tire, maybe perhaps that's the point when I think to bring on perhaps a few more pacey players. But Chris Humphrey with an absolutely fantastic impact and Jordan Hugel with the goal. It's all about youth this time, guys, and that's why the player training is so important. I really want to grow Jordan Hugel for this career mode as he's such a great player in real life, and I want to emulate that on this career mode if that makes sense. I really want Hugel to do well, but uh, that was actually how that match did finish in the end, guys. It did finish 2-1 to Preston, which was an absolutely fantastic result for us, and especially going away to Nottingham Forest, I would have taken a point going into it, but three points is just an added bonus. So going into the second game of today's episode guys, I decided to stick with the same formation, the 4-3-2-1, as I thought it did work well, especially in the second half against the Nottingham Forest, and I thought that it worked well, so I thought I'd use it again, and we do get off to an immediate start here with Bradley Dack, forcing their goalkeeper into a good stay, we do start very lively, and it's always why I like to see us uh, making a good start, but in this game we were sort of reduced to half chances really, Stevie May here looking for his second goal of the season, his shot just in the end goes harmlessly wide, it was, it, it, was, it had a bit of pace to it perhaps he was looking for it to curl inside but in the end it just floats harmlessly wide of the net of course he's still looking for his second goal of the season ever since he uh, scored again on the first day against MK Dons but uh, going into the second half now guys we do have a corner here and Reader Johnson hits the crossbar from a corner still we can't really manage to score from corners. I know that Joe Garner did manage to get one, but considering the amount of corners I've had in this career mode so far, we just can't seem to stick any of them away. But in the second half, what I decided to do yet again is bring on Jordan Hugel, as I think that he is a good impact player to have from the bench, and he gets a good chance there, but the goalkeeper in the end manages to uh, get a good uh, sort of chest to it really I'm not really sure what part of the body it hit there as you can see there it just stretches his body across and the keeper manages to stop the ball from going in. But from that corner Gallagher whips it in and Alan Brown manages to score from a header and from a corner. All the stuff I've been saying at the moment about us not being able to score from a corner. As you can see there, Alan Brown managing to put his header and it's sort, it was sort of a looping header there. Paul Gallagher with the corner. It was a good ball in from Gallagher. He's got quite a few assists so far this season and as you can see there, Alan Brown getting his head to it. Probably one of the smallest players on the pitch as well, which is quite ironic and uh, their goalkeeper there. I think he was a bit distracted by one of our players there. I think it was Bradley Zach. Uh, running into him there, but he couldn't manage to get to it, and that did mean that in the 83rd minute, minute Alan Brown had managed to get his first goal of the season, and it meant that we were 1-0 up in this game. It was a massive match for us as well. If we did win this match, it meant that we would go into the playoffs, and that's exactly what we did, guys. In the end, it did finish 1-0 to Preston, just what we wanted to see, and uh, obviously continuing with the player training, still training the same players, still trying to grow them in stats. However, I have replaced Bradley Dack with Hudson, as I think that since he's in such good form at the moment I'd love to get his attributes to go up by one or two which would be absolutely phenomenal you know imagine his selling price at the moment but that is the table at the moment guys as you can see we have climbed up into the playoff places we are currently fifth in the table which is absolutely fantastic if we were able to maintain this that would be absolutely mad so to end the video today guys what I am going to show you I am going to show you the squad report so thank you so much for watching guys if you have enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like like I said at the the start of the video go check out the straw poll in the description down below and go vote for the team you want me to do next for my career mode so just to be sure that since I do have another career mode starting on this channel that won't affect the regularity of this one they'll just run alongside each other but that will wrap it up for this video guys so thank you very much for watching if you have enjoyed make sure you leave a like subscribe if you are new and I will see you all in the next one comes the music. Boom, 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 boom. I'll shoot you right down. Boom, 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 boom. Pow, 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 pow. Boom, 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 boom. I'll shoot you right